Hello everyone, Todd Birdhand here, and today we're playing some ZZT. We uh, originally did this for one of the very first Miscellaneous Mondays, and hopefully this records correctly. I have a thousand numbers on my screen. So, we're playing Burger Joint by Matt Dabrowski. Oh my. Mm. Burger Joint, we're gonna play Burger Joint, gonna play as a guy in a Burger Joint. Hey, thanks for playing my game, dude. It's been 15,000 years since this game came out. What you see here is actually an instruction screen cleverly disguised as a restaurant. Try touching some of the objects in this room to learn more about Burger Joint. I recommend that you do so before exiting, though. Say, uh, through the front doors and actually playing the game. Now get out of my face. Alright, calm down. Johnny. I am Johnny. You play as this guy. Age 16. Not enough. Oh, well, wait. Weight, not enough, in his opinion. Height, around 5'8". Profession. Professional beggar and student, well until this game starts, at least. Favorite food, junky, greasy stuff. Favorite saying, Nito. Pet peeves, mean people, Shirley Temple. Uh, Ronald McDougal, 43. Weight a whole lot, all right. Height, 7'1". Actually, it's more like 5'7". Profession, restaurant owner. Favorite food, anything but burgers. Favorite saying, you're fired. Pet peeves, mindless employees, rude customers. Name, Rod, age 27, weight 162, height 5'9", profession, restaurant clerk, favorite food, a juicy McDougal burger, favorite saying, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave, pet peeves, workers who don't work, little kids. Napkins, do not save your game all that often, it may turn out that you have made a mistake and then you'll have to start all over. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, if it looks like a character needs your help, just don't stand there, help them out, forget your conscience, do anything you can... All right, let's get started. I'm gonna save Bulls a one. Let's do this. Burger joint. Sometime in the late fifties at BJ's fast food restaurant. Mr. McDougal. Hmm. Everything seems to be in order here. Now we we all need is another example. Yeah, someone who would you know brighten this place up a bit. A real people person. Gangway. That's me. Uh-oh. I'm real sorry, sir. Sorry? I think my rib cage is shattered. Does this mean I don't get the job? Get the job? What's your name, son? It's Johnny, and you guys are... Just call me Mr. McDougal. And I'm his loyal apprentice, Rod. Clumsy as you are, I think you may be able to add some cheer to my restaurant. Wow, if this place were any... Danker, I'd call the Board of Health. I mean, yeesh. Just get to work cleaning, Johnny. Oh, and if you're wondering what a fast food restaurant is, read this paper. The fast food restaurant is a brainchild of renowned local drunkard Ronald A. McDougal. Here, customers are served greasy portions of heart attack-inducing junk food. Unlike other restaurants, these monstrosities are served promptly and with little delay, unless the cashier is an incompetent adult who will soon be fired. What if the fast food runs away? Shut your yap, Weisenhammer. There's a suit waiting for you in the bathroom. Gonna go? Oh, and Johnny? It's opening day, and we can't afford any slip-ups. Yes, sir. You can count on me. Yes. Yes, I can. Rod, keep an eye on this child. Yes, sir. He won't cause any trouble. He'd better not. <laughs> oh, I get to go in. Blue, 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 blue. After one hour of intense training. Okay, as Mr. McDougal said earlier, your first job is to clean this place up before customers start coming in. A broom is waiting for you over there in the corner. So let me get this straight. I've got to clean all the important stuff before our first patron arrives? Yes. But that could be any second now. You better clean or Mr. McDougal will probably fire you. Uh-oh. Shit. Gotta save my balls! I'm supposed to use this to sweep the floor, not Mr. McDougal's bald head under pain of death. Take it. You got a broom, bitch! You got a broom, bitch! Oh, look, a new restaurant. Oh, shit. Gee, I've never heard of fast food before. Oh, God. Don't come in here. I can't read and clean at the same time. Sounds good to me. I think I'll try it. Oh, for the love of God. Don't come in here. Whoops, my shoelace came untied. Dum-dee-dum. Oh, shit. 
uh, this door leads to another set of doors which lead to the men's and women's bathrooms. I think this is all too complex for some of our stupider customers. I think that's everything. Yada da da da. Alright, I think I cleaned everything. There, all tied. Yeah. Get ready for action, people. This was action in the late 90s. Yeah, that's right. Super Nintendo was already out. This place looks clean enough. Welcome to BJ's. May I take your order? Um, yes. I'll have a burger and a Coca-Cola. Coming right up. Oh, whoops. Thanks for pushing me, Rod, you idiot. Burger and a cola. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, jeez. The drink machine is going haywire. Somebody help me. Can't. I'm too busy. Ooh, it's making really funny noises. Whack it with the broom. That ought to do it. Thanks, man. You saved me. Aw, oh, it was nothing. Just another heroic feat of Johnny the Great. Wait a second. I just remembered. I have a customer to serve. You're welcome. Here you go, sir. Wow, that sure was fast. But what were all those noises I heard? They were, uh, uh the machine that fastened up the food-making process. Hmm. Oh, yellow man. Mr. McDougal, we just served our first customer. Aha, uh -huh. get back to work. But he was really satisfied with the service. Aha, uh -huh. get back to work. All right. You did good, Rod. You did good, Aran, whatever the hell your name is. I'm just going to sit over here. Oh, here comes a blue man. <laughs> Greetings, fellows. Hi, I'm Joe Durano. Welcome to the restaurant business. Well, uh, hello to you, too. I own Joe's Diner across the street. Could I see the manager for a moment? I want to welcome him, too. Sure, I guess. He's back there. Uh-oh. Hmm, what a nice place. C Greetings, I'm Joe Durano. Welcome to the restaurant business. I own Joe's Diner across the street. Competition, eh? Well, uh, uh, let's see now. So, uh, you're not welcome here. Well, gee, I just wanted to say hello. I'm sorry. This guy looks nice enough, but it seems I may have to hurt him. Whack him with your handy-dandy broom. <laughs> oh, doing it. Boom! Ho-ho! Mr. Nice Guy is now unconscious. <laughs> and has a severe hemorrhage in his brain. Good work, Johnny. <laughs> Neato, but I feel so guilty. Uh-huh. Let's get him into the freezer where he'll never be found. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I vaguely remember some of this. What did I miss? Well, Johnny soundly bludgeoned a competitor on the head. What did you do with him? Let's just say he'll be in for a very cold night. <laughs> Reminds me of my old army days. See, we just infiltrated the enemy camp when we noticed a funny odor coming from Peter's. Blah, 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 yada, 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 yada. Oh, shit. Shit. Service? I want service. May I take your order? Yes, I'd like a burger, fries, and a milkshake. Coming right up. Oh, God. Take one. Burger, I guess. Take one. Fries. Take one. Drink milkshake. Here I come, Mr. Gotcha Milkshake. Thank you very much. You're welcome, brown man. Blah, 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 blah. And that's how I got my first car. Wow, what a great story. Uh-huh. Get back to work. Gotta save my balls. What a horrible story. Shit, I hope I didn't mess things up. Time to refill the old... Burger and fry supply. Plop. 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 They make that sound because those trays are filled high with grease. Is Mr. McDougal talking to himself? That noise came from the bathroom. Johnny, go check it out. Oh, God. Yes, sir. Uh -oh. I don't like where this is going. Yeah, I'm going, dickwad. Here goes nothing. I gotta save my bulls. Boop, 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 boop. Several minutes later. Johnny, what happened in there? Well, I came in to find some guy trying to drown himself in the toilet. Where is he? He jumped into the toilet and was sucked down into oblivion. <laughs> okay, we better get working. Yeah, that's right. Now turn on ju Whoa. Mama, this food's all greasy. Mama, I bit my tongue. 
Shut up, you stupid kids. Mama called us stupid. Damn right I did. Ah, this is really annoying. Mom, I poked my eye. Mom, I stabbed my kidney. Mom, I want to go home. Mom, I do too. Some idiots actually think the TV rots your brain and makes it smell. Is a television in here? It's a jukebox, okay. Okay, you stupid kids. Stupid kids. Get out of your damn kids. I'm trying to live my life. That loser family may have been annoying, but not seeing them brought to justice has made the man in brown very mad. Um, his rage. He kills everyone in sight, only using a plastic fork and spoon. Well, holy shit. Alright. Let's go to my balls. Getting in my balls several minutes later, there's a man in the bathroom in a drown himself. Alright, where is he? Oh crap. So this is, basically this is what happens. There are things that happen, and then you have to figure out what to do. Which is uh, a lot of ZZT games. How do I? Mama, this food's all greasy. Take the cotton stuff there. Take the jagged metal robot. Take the jagged metal robot. One toy's enough. Damn right I did. Here you go, kids. Here, kids, take this robot. Mama, I want it first. Mama, no, I want it first. Sure the fucking thing. Slice. Apparently, that jagged metal robot was far too jagged for anyone to be playing with. The three annoying customers are sliced and diced beyond recognition, which, by the way, is a good thing. Dead. Ah, peace and quiet. You're welcome, sir. Hmm, there seems to be a dead fly on my burger. Holy smoke, someone come quick. I'm coming. What seems to be the problem, sir? Your burgers are infested with vicious bloodthirsty zombie flies. Hmm, I'll get right back to you. Saving balls. Oh fuck, I hope I didn't. Oh shit. Give him a teddy bear? God. Oh, keeping customer waiting can't be good for a restaurant's image. News of bad service travels by word of mouth, and pretty soon no one wants to come to your dirty zombie infested restaurant. Crap. Balls. Alright, here we go. Crap. This is where customers are served. Oh god, I'm gonna, I messed this up. I shouldn't have saved so often. What am I supposed to do? G Willikers! Ah, oh, crap, no, I don't wanna do that. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh god. No way I'm going back in there. Oh god, what am I gonna, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Oh no! No! <laughs> oh crap, what am I supposed to do? Oh no. <sighs> no bueno! Oh crap. Can I shoot him? No, I don't have a gun. I leave? You were caught trying to escape your job in this game. What were you thinking? You're fired. Hot diggity dogs. Alright, everybody. Figured out how to do this. We gotta talk to Rod. Save my balls. There's a mentally unstable veteran out there complaining of vicious bloodthirsty zombie flies. Glad you told me about this. Come on, I'll show you what we do with these loonies. Oh, Rod. Here we come, we're gonna save the day, we're gonna tell everyone you're insane, man. Is this the guy? Yep, that's him, alright. Okay, sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to come with me. What? What is this? You can't do this to me, I'm a veteran. Well, why'd you bring me in here? Sploosh. Whoa. What happened? I took a hint from you and flushed him down the toilet. Neato! Yeah, sh he sure was mad. He's gonna come back and murder us one day. And I'll blame you. Excuse me, so young sir. 
here I come. Young sir. What is it? Well, I couldn't help noticing that a number of people have been, well, dying in this restaurant. Makes me feel a bit uncomfortable. Sorry for the inconvenience. How about a free burger? All right, thank you very much. Aw, oh, nuts, this blabbermouth is gonna tell everyone about our morbid asthma. I've gotta stop him, but how? I have to murder him. Oh, I'll make him a burger and then I'll put a knife in it. I promise I lose our free burger, but I'll need something more to stop him from blabbing about all those deaths at Mr. McDougal's Fun Restaurant. Take one. Doesn't st garbage. Why it smells like poison in there. Put trash in the burger. <laughs> Fuck! You snooze, you lose. Not only does this man blab to everyone about all the deaths and BJs, but he also tells them of the other, other the horrible things. Can't speak today. All right. Gotta get a burger. Gotta put some trash in a goo -doo 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 -doo. Take one sweet sexy burger and get some sweet sexy trash. Thanks, kid. This burger looks delicious. Chomp, chomp, chomp. <coughs> Seems our friend in brown has caught the flesh-eating virus from my special burger. <laughs> hey, Johnny! I have to walk around. Hey, Johnny! Johnny, I have some pressing business to attend to. Could you take my place as clerk here for a while? Sure, but what kind of pressing business are you talking about? A breath of fresh air. Oh, okay. You can go smoke smigarettes. You enjoy your smigarettes. Enjoy your smigarettes. Actually, this is the 50s. You can smoke in here. No one cares if you smoke. It's the 50s. Oh, lady. Oh, or maybe a boy who likes pink. Oh, fast food, hmm? Sally? Oh, hi, Johnny. She sits three seats behind me in English class, exclamation point. So, uh, what's up? Wow, you're purry. So, <laughs> what's up? Oh, nothing much. I, I just got this job at BJ's. So, what exactly is a fast food restaurant? A hangout for groovy chicks like you. A place where you can get fast food. Oh, sounds interesting. One day, fast food will be a big, bigger than Elvis. Wow. Want to go see a movie this Friday? Sure, I'd like that. Great, see you then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go out with that little... I'm the luckiest guy on earth. With that pink circle. Johnny, get over here. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, God. There you are. Listen, I've made a lot more burgers than we've had customers. I'll need to store away some of them in the freezer. Your task is to place them in the darkest, coldest corner you can find. But that refrigerator is huge and dangerous, and Joe's carcass is in there. Too bad, kid. Here are the burgers. All right, all right, all right. I hope I don't get lost and freeze to death in there. Oh, Johnny. You're a laugh right? Meanwhile... So, Rod, how's Johnny Bryn as an employee? He's a good kid, sir. Does whatever I tell him to. Seems to be good with our customers. Excellent. <laughs> well, I sure hope he doesn't get lost in that and die in that freezer. Ah, here's a customer right now. Oh, shit. That's my cue. Here I am. After much pain and frustration, did you finish your mission? It's almost, it almost killed me, but yes. There are rabid bears in there. I almost caused frostbite. frostbite. Joe's corpse kept looking at me. Uh-huh. Get back to work. Okay. Gonna. Whoa, shit. Oh, God, gray kid. Oh, God, gray kid. I'm coming, gray kid. I'm coming. I'm done. Seems this kid's choking. The Heimlich. The Heimlich. There you go. Why did you just grab me? You were choking. Shout the boost! Now hold down just a darn second. My daddy's gonna sue you, but I just saved your life. Oh shit. How about a bribe? Oh 
fuck. All right, I guess I can't argue. Crap. Aha! Kids are supposed to like stuffed animals, and it looks as if I've stumbled across one. Taking the cotton candy stuff. Taco Bear. Can I put any knives or anything in it? Damn. Ugh. Here you go, kid. Oh, goody. Now I'll have something to set on fire besides my house. <laughs> something tells me I done good. Oh, Johnny. Goo Goo Bars. We'll light your house on fire. 